CREATE stands for Collaborative Research for Educational Assessment and Teaching Environments for STEM. It's a joint position uh, between the College of Natural Science and the College of Education. And the goal, the goal of the Institute is actually to improve the teaching and learning of mathematics and science education K through 16 and also to, and to try to get evidence for what really works in really trying to promote uh, STEM education. From a basic citizen standpoint, having a better understanding of, of science and mathematics is critical. But also from a global perspective, uh, within our position as a, as, a, as a nation, within a world economy, having uh, top-notch students who know mathematics, no science and no engineering is simply critical. That first year of college, those first two years of college are just uh, extremely important as far as people continue on in those degree programs. So we have a lot of people who come to the university who uh, are interested in STEM degrees and for whatever reason it is, they, uh, uh, they fail to continue. And so there's a, there's a big push in how we can retain those, how we can retain those people and get them through school. In May, we plan on hosting um, a conference for faculty members on this campus so that we can share ideas, uh, learn about each other's work, uh, and build collaborations around, around uh, aspects of teaching and learning in, in science. And there'll be two parts of this. One would be to share the exciting work that's going on in STEM education at the higher ed level, but the other uh, ideas to share the exciting work, work that's going on in the K-12 spectrum. Again, trying to foster these collaborations. Often when people ask me what, what's CREATE all about, I say, well, there's three parts of it. There's a part that's about innovation. What new innovations as a faculty uh, can we come up with to try to make a difference in teaching and learning? But just having an innovation is not enough. We also have to investigate that innovation to find out does that innovation actually work, right? People Sometimes people want to innovate, but it might not might be worse than what we had before, so we have to figure out: is it really trying to solve our solve the problems that we have? And the last one is that we actually have to inform people of of what we've learned. And so the institute is all about innovating, investigating those innovations, and then informing the broader world, both the public as well as the scholarly community, about what we what we learned. Mm -hmm.